Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you do not know me, my name is Joelle and I resell on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and a few other platforms. And today I have a video about Plato's Closet. I have a couple other videos about Plato's Closet and it's just talking about general tips and tricks to selling there and how to make the most profits. But today I am going to give you all a little more of an interactive video where I will show you more of what I am actually taking in. I've talked a little bit about brands that I take, but today you will get to see more of the specific categories that I'm taking in, more specific brands, and the amount of items that I'm taking in. So for the first part of this video, I will show you all what I am actually taking in. For the second part, I will share what profits I made. And for the third part of the video, I will go over what they did not accept. So now I am just going to show you all a little video of what I am taking in. All right, I just have one pair of shoes and they are from the brand Cupid. Resale value is not super high, but Plato's Closet definitely loves this brand. Then I also have just a small little men's pile that I'm taking, mostly jeans and also a Nike polo. This is my activewear section, which is definitely one of the bigger sections that I am taking to Plato's. Plato's Closet loves getting activewear, so I never hesitate to pick it up. This is kind of my iffy section. I have a lot of sweaters and sweatshirts in here. Plato's Closet isn't quite into their fall season, so they may not accept all of these just because it is July and we are in the middle of summer, but there are some good brands in here, so I'm going to see if they accept some of them. Then next, we kind of have some miscellaneous stuff. I have a Madewell top in there, a couple altered state pieces, and a few dresses down there at the bottom. I do have a couple of more women's brands, like I have a loft dress in there. Plato's Closet is definitely catered to more young adults and teens, not so much women's clothing, but it is a really cute style. I will include a picture so you all can see. So we'll see if they take it. And then here we just have a small pile of some stuff from my personal closet. I have a Zoffel swimsuit that didn't fit a couple of free people bralettes and a lot of active wear in there that just doesn't have the best resale value on Poshmark. And finally, I have this gorgeous Urban Outfitters dress. It is new with tags. The MSRP is $69. This was a dress that I originally bought to resell. It was from the Urban Outfitters clearance sale. I paid $250 for it, but the sequins was kind of flimsy. Urban Outfitters clothes are not always the best quality, so I would rather just take it to Plato's Closet rather than keeping it in my inventory and risking a case being open for any damage that could be done to the item. All right, here I am, same setup, just a different day. I was unable to record while I was at Plato's Closet. It was really crowded when I went there. I did have a successful trip and I will talk about what they did not accept, but also how much money I made. But in terms of that crowd, I had seven people ahead of me. And as I was selling my clothes to them, there were a ton of people that were rolling in. So I just didn't really feel comfortable recording with so many people in there and because they were definitely rushed. So I didn't want to waste their time by recording the box of clothes that they accepted from me. But I just wanted to record this quick video to have more of a natural transition because now we are going to to the third part of this video, which is what Plato's Closet did not accept from me. All right, I'm back from Plato's Closet with a little extra cash. I got $44.52, and I wanna say that they purchased either 13 or 14 items from me. So that is a little over $3 per item, which I consider a huge win, considering my cost of goods for each item is anywhere between $0 and $2. Now, even though I did get a good amount of cash, I will still say that I was kind of disappointed with what they did not accept. I have a pile here of clothing that I was pretty shocked that they didn't buy from me. So for the final part of this video, I'm going to go over what they did not accept. So first up, they did not accept these Cupid boots and I was kind of surprised because like I said earlier in this video, I see this brand a lot around Plato's Closet and they tend to have good trendy shoes and these are in almost like new condition. So I will probably try to take these to another Plato's Closet to see if they accept them. If they do not, I will be happy to list these on Poshmark and other platforms probably for around 20 to 25 bucks. I only paid $2 for them, so no matter what, I will make a profit. This next piece was from Zella, and it is just this really cute blue pullover. It is in like new condition, just like those boots. Zella is just a really good, reliable, active brand, and I do see it around Plato's Closet, so I was kind of surprised because they're always looking for active wear. But this was one of those pieces that I recently purchased for 98 cents, and it was one of those where I wanted to get a quick flip for it. 
but I would be happy to still list it on my platforms. So I will go ahead and get this listed on Poshmark. I don't know much about Zella pullovers, but I anticipate I can profit at least $15 for it. All right, these next two pieces go hand in hand and they are both intimately free people bralettes. This first one is in like new condition. It has all of the tags attached and it is this beautiful blue color. Free People is just one of those brands that Plato's Closet almost always accepts. This has no signs of wear to it. Plus they have an entire rack dedicated to Free People. It's one of their absolute favorite brands at this location. So I was really surprised that they didn't take it. And here is the gray one. This one has some wear to it. It is very minor pilling on the straps, but both of these bras came from my personal closet. And so I am definitely happy to just list these on Poshmark and Mercari. I'll probably bundle them because they're the same size. And even if I could make five or 10 bucks for these, I will be happy. This next piece was also from my personal closet and it is a new with tags Zoffel swim top. I purchased this and it was too small for me. And so it's been sitting in my closet for a really long time. I say I was shocked that they didn't accept this because this particular Plato's closet and a lot of other ones that I've gone to in my area are filled with Zoffel and Shein swimsuits. And a lot of those are pre-owned, so I figured that they would not hesitate to buy a new tag swimsuit top for me, but for whatever reason, they did not accept this top. However, this is another one of those pieces that I am going to try to take to another Plato's Closet location. I think that they will eventually accept it, especially since we're still in those summer months. All right, this is the final personal closet piece. It is just a pair of Reebok mesh shorts. These shorts are super cute, and I was really surprised they didn't take them because they are great athleisure style and I also purchased these about a year ago so they're still a really recent style and Reebok has come out with a lot of cute and trendy pieces and Plato's Closet almost always accepts activewear as long as it is a decent brand and in good condition so overall I was just really surprised because there are no flaws to these shorts it's a good brand and it's in good condition but it's another one of those pieces that I will definitely take to another Plato's Closet in my area there are quite a few so I think that the odds of these selling are pretty high this next piece is a Toby lace dress. I will probably end up listing this on my platforms. I don't know too much about Toby resale value, but I only paid 98 cents for this dress. So I'm thinking I could profit at least $15 for it. It was just one of those pieces like that Zella pullover that I thought I could get a quick flip for at Plato's Closet. I see Toby a lot at all of the locations in my area. And it's just one of those timeless styles that is in excellent condition. So I might try to take this to another Plato's Closet, but I am almost 100% sure that I will just go ahead and list this on Poshmark. All right, we're on to our final two pieces, but here we have a new with tags express blouse. I got this shirt in a fill a bag sale for $7.99. And I want to say I got over 10 items in that haul. So this costs next to nothing. The retail is $59.95. So I just thought that I could get a good quick flip at Plato's, but for whatever reason, they didn't accept it. The cashier did explain to me that some of the items that they didn't accept were because they were more women's styles rather than teen styles. I'm thinking that they saw this as more of a women's style, but this is a shirt that I might try to take to another Plato's closet, or I might take it to a closed mentor. If you do not know, closed mentor is more of a women's style consignment store. I've taken a couple of bags there and they usually give me about five to $6 per item rather than the typical Plato's Closet three to five dollars per item. So if I can gather enough clothes, I might just go ahead and take another bag there and I'll definitely make a video on it to let you all know what they buy. All right, this final piece was from that same fill a bag sale as that express top and it is just this Madewell blouse. If it's not jeans, Madewell can sometimes be a tough sale for me. I typically try to steer clear from blouses like this, but because it costs less than a dollar, I figured I might as well have it in my inventory and some Plato's Closet will accept it. This was the first one that I took it to and they did not accept it, but I think I will try it at another location. And if not, I might try to put it on Poshmark and at least profit five to $10 for it. All right, we have now gone over all of the items that I was kind of shocked Plato's Closet didn't accept. Some other brands that they did not accept were Loft, J. Crew, and Lush. I'm thinking that like that Express Top Plato's Closet just didn't see those as teen styles. And I'm completely fine with that because all of the stuff that they didn't accept, I am confident that I can take it to another buy, sell, trade store or that I can still make a good profit on Poshmark. And overall, I am really happy with the $44 quick cash that I got. Plato's Closet will typically give me around $35 to $60 per haul. So I definitely consider this trip a success.
But if you want to see more reseller content like this, I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want to see more Play-Doh's closet videos, I do have a playlist on my channel. I have a couple of videos that talk about tips and tricks for making more profits at Play-Doh's closet, along with a couple of clearance hauls. So feel free to check that out. But now that we're at the end of this video, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you for the next video.